So today in this particular video, I'm going to do just strictly a prep skin, daytime prep skin. Now I tell you guys all the time that I'm oily, combination, and hormonal. I'm makeup over 40. <laughs> but hey, you know it's a gift and it is what it is. So right now my skin is in that um hormonal stage right now, you guys. My skin is in that um dry spell. So I haven't been producing a lot of oils as y'all can see. And I have been getting breakouts from the last video. During the summer, I tend to break out the most because of the heat. So I haven't been producing any oil. So I will be able to get away with wearing a dewy foundation to create a nice, beautiful, dewy summer look that will be up on my YouTube. Okay. So I wanted to show you guys how I prep for my skin. Remember, I told you guys that I do not wash my face with a washcloth. No, I do I wash my face with pure water. So y'all saw how I use the micellar water. Let me brief you guys on these. The Aveeno Clear Complexion Daily Cleansing Pad. This has salicylic acid for acne treatment as well. And this is definitely perfect for all skin types. This right here, this is, this is alcohol free. This is oil free. This is soap free. And it's just good for everyday cleansing. And no, it does not over dry the skin. So let's get into it. So I like to use these pads. They're very thick. You have one side that is good for exfoliating the skin, which is on this side. And then you have one that is this side for cleansing. So you have two sides. This is very cheap. This is an under $10 buy. I buy mine from Walmart. You know, you can probably get these on Amazon. You can probably get these at Target as well. But when I go to Walmart, I know what I'm looking for. And since I'm low on these, uh, when I make my grocery pickup, yes, life is busy. And I do my Walmart order. I'll definitely be having these on my uh, in my cart. These I buy right now. So, because my skin, I like to exfoliate, exfoliate my skin um, at least two to three times a week or maybe twice a week. This kind of exfoliating isn't going to hurt my skin as the kind, not really not hurt, no, no exfoliating hurting my skin, but it's just a mild exfoliating. So I go in with this first. In a circle of motion, I go to clean my skin. And as you can see, it has like a lot of cleanser on it. So I'll cleanse, I'll exfoliate my skin. The most important for me to be exfoliating would definitely be in the center of my face right here. And I even do my brows. As you can see, it, has, it gives you a lot, a lot of product. And right here in my T-zone area. And definitely right here because, child, I'm about to wax. It is what it is, you know. They haven't diagnosed me with PCOS. But um, I think every woman has a little puzz going on. And uh, what it does is I will go back over my face and use a cleanser. I mean the clear parasite to clean my face. And you guys are going to see. I'm going to use my silver water to wipe around my eyes. And clean around and clean this up. I'll be wrapping it on and on. Y'all follow me. Okay, so. See, I still have a lot of, of uh, kind of cleanser on my face. So what I take and I do is I'll work it in with clean hands. Clean hands is the key. And I'll rub it. And I'll go over my face and rub that water in. Now, this is the time where you can take a clear, I have like a makeup pad that I would use at the time to wash my face. But I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to So I'll work it all in. I want that full effect and I want my face clean. Anybody else just have those issues with their nose, like the little oils, the little dry condoms coming out. As you can see, you see how it's starting to absorb into my skin. Uh, all right, that means I rubbed it all in. Then you can rub this all in for a full effect for 60 seconds. All right, so, so you see 
see how nice my face look so next i'm going to take this is a cloth like cotton round this is like a cleansing pad and yes i do go in with my micellar water y'all see this before you know where this come from i'm going to take my micellar water get it pretty saturated and then I'm going to go in and cleanse this off my face. It was like a double cleanse. We all heard about it. It is beneficial to the skin. It's a double cleanse. And I'm going to this. I'm going to clean my eyes and my lashes. You guys should be able to clean your lashes. I have a lash brush at least once a week. Do a dip, deep clean with baby shampoo to your lashes along your top line and your bottom line this will not only help grow your lashes but if you're a person that's getting lash extensions you understand lash baths and you understand that it keeps up bacteria down infection over all your makeup or whatever out so this is usually the time i find out that at least one or two lashes have shaved Get all that out. Real good. No, it does not burn my eye. No, it does not irritate my eyes. Okay, so that is step uh, one. So now that I've cleansed the face or whatnot, I'm not going to go in with a discoloration serum because that's my nighttime routine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my face. Now, because my skin is in that dry state, now I need moisture. Moisture needs to be my friend. So I'm going to go in with my aloe vera soothing toner and tone my face. Remember this lotion is kind of, it is a toner lotion, so it is kind of thick. Alright, so, yep. as you can see, I got that little glow going on, girl. It's a big difference when you're on your makeup. <laughs> but anyway, you see how I got that in? Okay, so, I'm going to go in, and yes, I do have my humongous court in front of me usually i will go in with my stridex pads but today i'm going to go ahead because i have the acne i just want to do a treatment so i'll show y'all this after now i do have different hyaluronic acid serums that i use on my face so this one right here i'm going to use the studio makeup hyaluronic acid serum so now it's time to add a serum to my face and this is daytime remember this is daytime so i'm not going to do, be doing too much treatment because some of those treatments you do have to wear a um and the reason why you see my face like i still have some of their um you know, vino cleansing stuff in my face in my hand so yeah So I just added my hyaluronic serum. And you're gonna do all this before your skin prep so that your skin can fully absorb while you're doing your brows and while you're doing your um, eye makeup. And then y'all already seen how I go ahead and prep, but I'll probably do a separate um, prep video for that as well. So right here I'm using, I got this from my local beauty supply store. They'll use that for your, your hair for me when I was a child and it was putting that astringent in my head, I didn't understand that I had, um, I don't know, dermatitis or something like that. I'm gonna add a little bit more. This is a cooling astringent and it used to cool my hair off. And so when I do it on my skin for these acne, like I could have went in with my shorter but like I said again, I wanted a more deeper treatment. So I pulled this out and I'm putting it on my face. And notice that I'm applying everything with my hands. Why? Because I want the full effect of what I do. But I want the full effect. So now that I did my astringent, some people will go in 
with a sunscreen. Um, I'm not going outside in the natural sun is not doing too much to harm my skin. So I'm, I'm going to skip the step, step. But if I was going outside, definitely put your sunscreen on. This is the Black Girl sunscreen. I got this one from Dirt Cheap when I was hanging around Dirt Cheap. I also have the one that I have in my bag in my car that I use from Walmart. And because my skin is in that, um, that dry stage now, to where I don't really have to worry about too much mattifying, like doing a double mattifying. Um, usually I will go in with what y'all saw in the previous video. But my skin needs hydration and I think this has SPF in it. Um, but it, it does need hydration. I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Daily Hydration. Y'all saw this in the previous video. I'm going to go ahead and hydrate my skin now. This is it. This is how I prep my skin when it is in its hormonal stage. Um, even though I'm oily combination, I am hormonal, so I do try to include that in. I'm in that hormone stage, which means it is very dry. One more thing that I like to go in with, um, and it is my nighttime skincare routine. So. Um, I like to go in with these two things right here. The alginus, I've talked about this, you can scroll down. I've talked about this, something is open. Uh, you can actually go in with your, uh, with an essence, but I skipped the essence, it's a choice either or. Um, you could do the confidence in a cream, which is its cosmetics. Um, but I'll go in either with this eye cream, this vitamin C eye serum, and I'll put this along my lash lines in, the, in my forehead. So those are the two things that I will use next. I have a very small brush. This will add hydration and comfortability to the face. This here is actually formulated for, it's an eye renewal cream to help with wrinkles. I don't have that problem, as you can see. But let me tell y'all something. Look at them laugh my interest. And I laugh all the time because I'm just mad goofy. A lot of things that people don't know about me. So I do have laughs and laugh lines. But I kid y'all not, this has been helping my lash lines and the middle of my forehead. This has been doing wonders. And I just been I just been using it because if you're gonna utilize your makeup for other things, you can utilize your um your cosmetics just like the confidence in a uh, confidence in a cream the neck cream version i use this over my face the back of my neck on my neck my death lodge my hand even my hands and it has been working wonders so this is how i prep my skin when it's like i said again in its hormonal stages um and also like before i'm getting ready to do my makeup y'all have seen a previous one where i mattified my skin completely especially when it's overly oily but this right here i'm going to need um hydration because it's definitely going to make that um, foundation itchy so don't forget to hit that like comment and subscribe button and tell a friend to tell a friend i'll see y'all in the next video